The earthquakes are epicentered on the volcano's northwest flank, similar to what happened before the May 18th eruption. They are shallow, less than three kilometers beneath the surface, similar to what happened before the May 18th eruption. But they are of lesser magnitude, up to three on the Richter scale. Nine earthquakes had been recorded since 628 this morning. This one came in at 204 this afternoon, detected from a seismic station installed three weeks ago on the east flank of the volcano. Before the 18th, we were locating events very shallow, again, on beneath the boat on the northwest side. And this time, we we're locating events uh, again on the northwest side, shallow. But the character is quite different. Say, so if we see, start to see more events of this type, uh, then I think that there's some uh, source of concern. The earthquakes may be triggering rock slides on the mountain. These were photographed last Friday inside the crater. Such rock slides are also being detected by seismic stations on the mountain. Students at the university are compiling all the new data coming in, but so far there is no pattern to the earthquakes and no indication that they may be preceding yet another eruption. The earthquakes may indicate that the volcano is reawakening after remaining seismically quiet since June 28th, but there are no harmonic tremors being picked up. So magma may not be moving beneath the mountain, which is what happened prior to the May 18th eruption. Brooks Burford, Channel 7, Iowa News.